Well, the days arrive when me and Norma finally give our tats away. <laughs> and I mean it in the nicest possible way. <laughs> Proud of the way you've gone in life, you're a first class midwife, a wonderful mother to Izzy and Bobby, and also, I should think, a perfect match for Paul. Good luck, lad. <laughs> I've met a boy. And that's all she said. She didn't say anything else. And for several weeks after, we got little snippets. The boy lived near Haworth. The boy was a lovely person. But the boy was in need of a bit of grooming. We returned to England and we met the boy. And the boy was very polite. The boy was bushy beard. And the boy had long curly hair. Was he in need of grooming? We didn't like to say, did we, Norma? <laughs> Paul asked me a question while I was mowing both their lawns. <laughs> and he said, what would you think if I asked Taz to marry me? And I says, feel free, lad, you feel free. <laughs> I said, you've lived with us for 12 years. You have two kids. You have a lovely house, you bought a car apiece, and you've got a gardener. Why not? <laughs> I just want to say, Taz and Paul, how honoured. <laughs> Taryn, Leanne, Keane, from the bottom of my heart. And I'm sure you'll all, all agree how incredibly beautiful you look today, and I'm so proud of you. <laughs> As she was my chief bridesmaid, and how the years have gone so fast. But oh my gosh, she didn't have to go my past. <laughs> so now it's my turn <laughs> to, drop some to drop some bombs. And I'm not talking about the ego ones. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm only kidding. I'm going to keep this clean. Yeah, I'm going <laughs> One day, Taz decided to completely change her life. Oh, God. <laughs> she only went and got a degree and became a midwife. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Catching all those babies and working hard all through the night. Above, above and beyond, she always goes to make sure everything's just right. Then, she fell in love. And she met the man of her dreams. The man she calls Paolo. It makes her, it makes her go weak at the knees. With a head full of dreadlocks and a twinkle in his eye. I wonder if she knew then that she'd marry this guy. So I'm gonna now close this poem, but there is one thing I must ask. If all of you lovely people can stand and raise your glass as we wish our special couple our love and send them on their way to my best friend Taz and her Paolo. 
on their wonderful wedding day. Thank you.